Hey guys, it's Jared here with ST Genetics. Just wanted to hop on real quick and show you the difference between the old half cc straws and the new quarter cc straws. Most of you are very familiar with the half cc straws. They come in a little bigger cane. And I also have here conventional quarter cc straws. And also sexed male in the blue and sexed female in the pink. Here we have the quarter cc conventional straws. You can see they're packaged in a green straw. This is to help keep some of the UV rays out, but you'll always want to keep them out of the sun to keep from damaging some of those sperm cells. Here we have sexed male semen. You can see it comes in a blue straw. The rack also has a blue tab on top to easily identify it before you pull it out of the tank. When you're using any quarter cc semen, we recommend you use these quarter cc tweezers. If you hold it at this sort of an angle, you can get the tweezers down inside the tank without exposing too much of the semen. These are the three different types of AI guns you can buy. On the left, we have a universal gun. In the center, we have a half cc gun. And on the right, we have a quarter cc gun. You'll notice that the outside diameter of the barrels are all the same. Just the one on the quarter cc gun is a little bit thicker to accommodate the smaller straw. It might be hard to notice in this picture, but the plunger is the same size on the universal gun as it is the quarter cc gun. The plunger on the half cc gun in the center is thicker than the other two guns. Before we get started, we'll make sure the thaw monitor is plugged in and warmed up between 95 and 98 degrees Fahrenheit. Then we'll pull the stopper out of the top of the tank and identify which canister our semen is in. As soon as we get that canister up, you're going to want to make sure before you pull it all the way out that it has the right semen in it you're looking for. You'll also want to look for the silver rack with the STG logo on it. If the colored liquid is still frozen in the top, you're all good to go. Next, identify the sire you'd like to use. Pull that out just far enough that you can get in there with the tweezers, but you don't want to pull that up above the neck of the tank. Be sure to get a firm grip on the straw like this with those tweezers. Once you get the straw out of the rack, simultaneously drop the rack back in the tank and put the straw in the thaw water. You want to have your AI gun in your sheath warmed up before you're ready to put the straw in. So you can either do it this way or you can put them in an AI gun warmer. Once you've waited for 45 seconds for the straw to thaw in the thaw water, you can go ahead and grab the very tip of that, the crimped end of the straw with your fingers and put it in your pre-warmed paper towel. You're going to go ahead and load that straw in the gun. Make sure that the straw is pushed all the way under the plunger like this. Then take your pseudo straw cutter, insert your straw like so, push it all the way up to the back stop before you depress it. Once you clip the end of that off, you can go ahead and take your pre-warmed sheath and slide it over the gun. You want to make sure that the straw is seated inside of the blue plug or green plug, depending on what sheaths you use. Slide your sheath all the way down the gun. In this case, we have the twist lock where you twist it until it sets the end. Kind of like this. Once you get to this point, you're ready to depress the plunger and get the last bit of air out of the straw. Then wipe it clean and put it back in your warmer, or put it down your shirt to maintain proper temperature until you get to the cow. Thanks for watching our video on proper handling techniques on quarter cc straws. We certainly hope it helps you in your operation. Feel free to like and share our video with all your friends and neighbors.